Hello Facebook! It is time for Jelena's Art School. Let me get situated so I can see the comments and then we'll get started. Okay, let's see. Hi everyone, thanks for joining. So I said yesterday that we were gonna do a kids edition for our paint class today. And it's gonna be fairly simple. Um, this may look crazy, but I swear uh, I will try to simplify it as much as I can. So um, this kind of reminds me of doing Easter egg hunts when I was a kid and I cried all the time because I was never fast enough. But Hopefully I'll be fast enough to paint this for y'all. Okay, so starting off, you're gonna use basically any color that you can think of, uh, black, white, and all the colors of the rainbow. If you wanna use a lot of colors for your eggs, there's really no preference. And then, flat brushes. I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times, these will be your best friend when you're doing a lot of uh, precision drawing, but because I'm painting grass, I'm gonna be using this and it just basically helps me whenever um, I'm doing that, so. Okay. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna do a lot of mixing. So I'm gonna dip my big flat brush. This is about like close to an inch maybe. So I already painted this. It doesn't have to be, I, what I did is I put some blue and put some white and then blended it together. So that's my sky and I would only go halfway. So dip a little bit of your flat brush in the black and then in the green. And then go back and forth. Okay. And then same process that we did yesterday, upward strokes, which by the way, if you missed the show this morning, we have a lot of young artists out there in the community. Okay, upwards. This is how you make your grass. So I'm starting it in the middle of the canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just grass, just little, you know, strands of it. Okay, I need more green. So whenever I dip, I always go like this, just to get the excess off because you don't want globs of paint on your canvas. And that's what's gonna give you those nice blades of grass, very easy. So if you missed yesterday, we painted palm trees. I figure since it was Palm Sunday, let's just do palm trees because it's fun. And um, yeah, I thought it was gonna be a hard. I thought it was gonna be like a very difficult um, lesson, but that was definitely not the case. Hi, Rachel. Okay, upward strokes. Flick of the wrists like this. Okay. go back with the green and then I'm remember to paint the sides you always want to paint the sides of the canvas so if you do hang it up um, you don't have some of that white that's peeping through and remember you start out with dark green dark green is what's gonna get you the shadows of the grass but then we'll go lighter you'll see go upwards and I'm gonna use the blow dryer later because I use the blow dryer if you need to, when I want to speed up the process for the paint to dry, and it's acrylic paint. I like acrylic paint. Dip a little bit of the black. Okay, and then just paint. Hi Robert, how's it going? Upward strokes. A 
little bit of the black. And you don't have to pre-mix them if you don't want to. Um, you can, but I just choose not to. I just kind of go for it for this one because that's how you get these nice shades in the grass. Okay, so you're gonna keep going like that. All right, now we're gonna speed up this drying process. So you use your hair dryer, put it on high. It's dry. Hey Roxanne, thank you. So, I mean, when I say use the hair dryer, use it if you're like in a rush or whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna use the green again and I'm just gonna use a lighter green. So a little bit of the white, go back and forth. And I'm gonna go back and forth with my brush like that. If it doesn't seem to blend, um, that's fine because we're gonna go over it again. And if you can, do more grass strokes like that. So do you see what's happening? I don't know if the camera is picking it up. It's basically in contrast with the dark grass in the background. And I'm gonna dip a little bit of the white in there and go back and forth. So like I said, the green does not have to be uniform, okay? You can have different shades. Because when you typically look at grass, I mean, there's different shades of green, okay? Then on this part, I'm just gonna go back and forth with the green again. I'm gonna use more green. And do uh, a lot of upward strokes too. to get all sides sides of the canvas that's what I meant okay. upward strokes like that We're gonna go back with the blow dryer again because we need this to dry. So let me wipe this real quick. Remember when you're painting with acrylic, you wanna have a tarp and a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty because it's hard to wash off. So for the eggs, you can really make as much as you want. For this one, I just chose a big egg because I don't know, I was just kind of playing around with it. But you can do four, you can do three. If you just want to do one, that's fine. And you're not going to sit it on top right here. You're actually going to set it down right here. And you'll see why. So get some of the white. So I guess I'll do three maybe. Oh, 
<clears throat> Someone's phone's ringing. What's up, Dave? So we got one egg down, and we're going to do more. So I'm probably going to do a few coats of this white whenever it's finished. And if it helps, uh, I just paint by eyeballing, so if you want to use a pencil to do a little sketch, um, then that will help too. I don't know if she sent it in an email actually, but she put it on Slack. Okay. Now one more egg, one more egg to go. You got... What is for the family? V-O-T's for the four, Bosat for the five, and then a package of okay. I'm gonna go. Package of ten. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna add another coat, and in order to do that, I have to use the hair dryer again. So, it really depending on um, your layers and how many coats you put on, uh, drying does really does not take a long time. Sorry, you have a package for the six. Okay. No. I'm going to go over again. And you can really decorate your eggs any way you want. Then I'm going to go back in my handy dandy blow dryer. And it's dry. So, I mean, it's it's fast. Okay. And make sure when you're using acrylic, you don't leave uh, the paint on it because that will dry up your brushes and Acrylic is, it dries like a plastic, so it's not like temper paint where you can just, um, you know, wash it off with water and it's good to go. That's why you don't want to paint in nice clothes when you're painting with acrylic. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of a nerd, so I'm going to do little Yoshi eggs. Yoshi eggs, you know, like from Super Mario, so Yoshi's eggs maybe like a green one here and then red and purple or something. So I'll do three circles. And I just move the canvas so I can get more leverage. I played a lot of Mario Kart growing up. A lot of Mario Kart and a lot of Super Mario. Okay. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be like that. You can go super fancy with the whole Easter egg decorating thing. I'm gonna do a different color for the other ones. Okay, this time I'm gonna choose red. And I keep washing my brushes in between. Doesn't have to be in any specific spot, but I will have to go over that in another layer too. Okay. I'm gonna move this a little bit.
just a little bit more. Should I do purple or blue? I guess I'll do blue. Or I'll do purple. I don't know. Remember this week it's all Easter themed. So we'll do more fun stuff tomorrow for the kids. Oh, let me rotate the canvas. Yoshi eggs, there you go. We're still not done yet. Okay. I'm gonna use the blow dryer again. And then I'm gonna go back in and kind of fill those dots so they are opaque. And that, that just means like I don't want the white to peek through the red. Okay, then I'm gonna do the green. want to be really extra you can shade on the sides of the egg but I'm not gonna do that okay one more time so this is a matte acrylic paint so how I know it's dry is when it starts to not look shiny and it is mattified so okay now we're gonna add more grass this is the fun part so go in your green you're gonna go back to the flat brush the bigger one and then you're gonna dip that in the white and then kind of wipe a little bit off and you're just gonna keep doing those strokes like that And if you want, kind of put some of the blades of grass over the egg too. Okay. And mix it up. Dip a little bit in the black, dip a little bit in the green, go back and forth. And if it looks black and not so dark green, that's totally fine. I'm 
Okay, so this is where the grass starts to sit in front. This is using uh, your foreground and then your middle ground, which are the eggs, and then your background. That's the grass that you started with earlier. in the green, dip a little bit in the black, and then go nuts. So story time. So I used to live in Singapore because my dad was in the Air Force. And, um, and so all the officers are having this like big uh, Easter egg hunt and I was way too slow, way too slow. By the way, I keep going back with dark white, or white, black with the green and just keep mixing it up. That way you get the different shades. Anyway, I was too late for this Easter egg hunt. So I didn't get any eggs and then I cried for like an hour and then the Easter bunny came and delivered some eggs to me because he felt bad. Yeah, don't be like me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so mix up the blades of grass like that with the color. Just keep going back in the black, keep going back with the white. I think I'm gonna use a little more black. And I'm using the same brush too, I don't ever change them. And if you want to do a flower, you could totally do a flower too. And you want to go all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. I'm gonna have to move that a little bit. And then keep dipping back in the white and green and keep going back and forth on your palette. So I'm starting to see that the shade, there's like a lot of this light green, so I'm gonna go back with the black. Okay, now I need more black. And you want to keep going until you cover all the empty spaces with just different blades of grass. Have it on the sides of the egg so the grass kind of peeps through. Okay. And then if you want to do um, like a little daffodil or whatever or a flower, go ahead and do that. I think I might add one. Just a solid line like that, nothing too crazy. Not a daffodil, uh, what did I say? I, I meant a dandelion. Okay, 
And I just do one line, two little dots like that. Then you're gonna go back with your white, and this is how I do this part. Slightly dip in the white, go back and forth, and I use the corner. And I'm lightly tapping, lightly. and then just keep going with the other one. Now it doesn't have to be exact, you can do whatever you want. Okay. And then if you do wanna make your eggs shiny, it might not even pop up, but I'll show you what I mean. So if you do like a colored egg, add a little white line to the side here. So it has this effect that it's actually shining. And there you have it. Your little own Easter egg hunt thing. So pretty simple. And then tomorrow um, it involves a bunny. So everything is gonna be Easter themed for this entire week, but Try it out, let, it be, let me know if you do try it out, and then we can air it on the Sunrise Show and show all of West Texas your masterpiece. All right, bye y'all, have a great Tuesday.